Don't threaten me with a good time. So glad I didn't hear that. Um, which brings me to another point. You know, one of the greatest and worst things about me, and listen, you're going to learn things about me tonight that maybe you didn't want to know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. And one of those is that I can hear everything. And this is evidenced when I'm, yeah, I find myself out at a very, very, very fine restaurant with a very, very good looking young lady. And there'll be a gentleman at the next table, I'll hear him say something like, <laughs> Now you know she wouldn't even be with him if he couldn't say it. And I'm here to tell you right now that I have never, ever, ever sung to a girl that I was dating. Ever. No, no, listen, listen, it's not because I don't want to. It's because I can always hear my mother's voice in the back of my head saying, mm-hmm. <laughs> now you know, if you use your uh, given time for your own personal purposes, <laughs> he'll take it away from you. <laughs> So, I say to myself, you know, what could be the worst thing that could happen? Then, um, I see a commercial on television for erectile dysfunction. <laughs> and I say, no! That is not the worst thing that could happen. <laughs> My man right here is like, huh? What? <laughs> no, the worst thing that could happen would be to wake up in the morning and not be able to do this. So, um, that's why I don't do that other thing. <laughs> but... No, listen, okay, you say that, but really, would you want a guy singing to you all the time? No, 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 you wouldn't. And let me show you why. You're sitting there, you're both looking in each other's eyes, and he's like, Now, would you rather have that, or would you rather have someone write a song that you've inspired? That becomes a number one hit all over the world. Because that's what I can do. <laughs> I'm sorry. But what I do like to do is I like to, during my concerts, bring a young lady from the audience on stage so I can sing to her. Again. Now, normally I just pick someone at random, but since this whole Twitter thing has happened, I've been picking them from people who follow me on Twitter. That's why you gotta follow me at It's B McKnight, baby. <laughs> but tonight, somebody very special, she's celebrating her birthday. Debbie, I can't say your last name. Never knew Lala. Find you. Come on up on stage. Find my man. Are you surprised? Give him a hobby! Nice. So how do you, how do you tell you what I feel? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm good. Don't stop it. So listen, I know it's your birthday, so happy birthday to you. But I mean, I want to know, do you have a boyfriend? Just me? <laughs> so I had an idea about how, how special this would be. And, uh, you know, last night when I, I was looking at your pictures, <laughs> uh, I got to 
think of some things that are, that are parts of my mind and my, my heart and certain parts of my body that are... Uh, <laughs> I know. And, and, and it was making it hard to <laughs> express exactly the way that I feel. But words came to me, man. Words came to me. And I want to share those words with you right now. I'm not getting any better from home. That's not, that's not it. Let's <laughs> try it again. I'm not getting I can hear from a thousand miles in the heavens. Oh my God! Every time she smiles, when I come to her, that's where I belong. She's crying. And I've run into her. Like a river strong, what she give me love.